So I'm about to make a cut with a larger Forstner bit on this uh, cheap Craftsman 8 inch drill press. Uh, and in order to do that, I need to change the speed. Uh, different bits require different speeds. You can easily find a chart online. I've actually linked one down in the description uh, to make it easier for you. Uh, so today I'm just going to show you on this drill how to change the speed. It's very similar to how other drills will work. So if you don't have exactly this drill, don't worry, it should be the same. So inside the drill, there are two spindles. This is very much like a bicycle wheel. Uh, and you can see, uh, so inside the, uh, inside the drill press, there are these two wheels. Uh, it's very similar to a bicycle, uh, the way that the gears work. And by setting up a different setting on the, the two wheels, you can do the different speeds. There's normally a chart inside of the case. There's actually one right here. Uh, this one says that if you have uh, the, top on, or the top gear on this side and the top gear on this side, you're at 3,100. And then to go to the lowest speed, you actually need uh, the lowest over here and the lowest over here. Uh, so the easiest way to get these off is to start with the big wheel. So in that, or the, sorry, the wheel that is uh, larger uh, that it's currently on and start by getting that off so you can move it around easily. So the way that I do it is just pull down on this and then as you rotate, it'll actually catch the lip and it'll fall right off the spindle. So you end up with this. Now it's just moving free. So once it's there, you can set the small side to the side that you want and then move on to the big side. And to get it back on, it's just as easy. You line up the side and then rotate. Uh, and as you rotate, you'll actually be able to pull it on. Uh, so don't try to, you know, pull it around using your finger. Uh, you're liable to get your finger uh, stuck in the belt and that hurts quite a bit when that happens. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe down below uh, and leave any questions in the comments. Thank you.